Thanks for joining us. First up at 9 o'clock, new details in the disturbing case against a former FLDS church leader. His name is Samuel Bateman. He was caught near Flagstaff with several girls in his trailer and is accused of taking and rounding up girls in Arizona and other states to, uh, to take in as so-called wives. Tonight, Bateman and nearly a dozen of his followers are now officially indicted by a grand jury. And this police body camera video right here from December shows the moments when Bateman was pulled over with three underage girls in a trailer he was towing. This is the inside of the trailer. When officers in Flagstaff went into the vehicle, they found a couch, a makeshift toilet, and no ventilation. He has pleaded not guilty to charges including child abuse and obstructing a federal investigation. Well, tonight, Michael Raimondi is going through newly unsealed grand jury documents and brand new charges against Bateman. Michael, what did they say? Yeah, so the documents show that Bateman and 10 others are now accused of going across state lines for years to gather women to be his wife. And 10 of those women were under 18 years old. How old are you? How old are you? 11? How old are you? 12? That's law enforcement officers questioning the ages of women in a trailer towed by Samuel Bateman last winter in Flagstaff. Court paperwork shows some of them were as young as 10 years old. Shows you what goes on in some of these these crazy, the most extreme polygamist uh, communities and cults. And Former 3TV reporter Mike Watkins has covered the polygamist community in Colorado City for years. Bateman insisted on meeting Watkins, and the two eventually met at a Phoenix park a year and a half ago. Watkins says Bateman was desperate for attention. At that point, I realized he was sort of a flamboyant guy who was all about taking center stage. You know, many of the polygamists hide away from uh, sight, from plain sight. Sam Bateman was one of those kind of guys that went out and embraced it. 47-year-old Bateman is the self-proclaimed leader of the group. Newly unsealed court documents today show a grand jury indicted him on additional charges, along with 10 of his followers for bringing minors from three other states, Colorado, Nebraska, and Utah, back to Arizona to be his wife. The grand jury also accuses Bateman of making child pornography with a group of underage girls. He faces several other charges, including distributing obscene material to a minor. So the fact that they busted some of these people, and if they can make a case against them, that's great. Watkins says the feds were on to Bateman before they met. He says Bateman's big ego brought him the attention from law enforcement, which could eventually keep him in prison for decades. It's a complex issue, but I think this is a good start. And hopefully the feds have learned something that they take them seriously, prosecute these guys, and also get the people who make it happen for them. Bateman and one of his followers are also accused of witness tampering. He's in jail until his trial next year. Bateman and three others indicted are due in court on Friday to be arraigned. Reporting live in the studio tonight, I'm Michael Raimondi for Arizona's Family.